And then I spot this. It is Culver Valencia. And you don't normally see it in the entire set. That is what was so amazing about this. So I walk in this booth and I spot this little turkey who's cute, good, good color, but you know, resale wise, not going to bring a whole bunch. And then these kittens. Oh my goodness, these kittens. Uh, they are adorable and they've got that like texturing on them, not like spaghetti. That's the wrong word. I don't know what it's called when it's got that little that little pebbly textured, it was really popular in the 1950s. And that was one of the ways that I was able to determine the age. They are made in Japan. They went at $8 a piece. And I was thinking that might not have been a bad price, but I'm glad I didn't get them because they do only sell in like the 12 to $15 range. But man, are they cute, super cute. I wanted to just scoop them up. All right, bye kitties. And this deer was really cool, but there is really no way I wanted to ship that. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know why I looked at the price because those antlers, yeah. I mean, I'm a good shipper, but even that one gave me the heebie-jeebies. I'm just kind of scanning the booth, just looking for anything that grabs my attention. You know, like a spun glass ship in a frame. This is a really neat piece of needle craft. I think that's cruel work, um, but some of those can sell for really good money. And then there was this cool little tiger needle point stool and I think that was like a seat cushion that someone put on this stool, but it was so cute and unique. And if I can find the price tag, it's only $12. So I picked this up. Indeed. There was some really nice things in this booth. And then I spot these really hideous looking fish, which is just my cup of tea. I love hideous. <laughs> um, I think they were meant to be like candle holders and I don't think they were that old. I totally would have bought those, uh, but they wanted $20 a piece. So, or 25, I think they were. This booth has the most incredible mid-century array of products. Uh, I was drawn to this blue pitcher vase thing. It was um, $12 or $19 and it was half off. Everything in this booth was half off. So uh, yeah, made in Germany and mid-century, I'll take that. Every kind of vintage mid-century mug you could possibly want. And then I spot these. They are blue and green and they are candle holders. But the best part about it is they are, well, the best part was uh, they were only $15 for the pair and half price of that, but they're Royal Hager. Um, they have a really neat look. And it was uh, $7.50 for the pair. I will take those. Thank you very much. Yeah, I had to look at it twice because I could not believe it was only 15 for the pair. Yeah. These lamps are amazing. And mid-century lamps can sell for really good money. Those are the original shades, too. 
And then there's this, he's a little owl lamp night light guy. And now that I have looked him up, I think I was turned away from him because he had a savers tag still on the bottom. So I don't know what I was thinking because he sells for like $40. So I may just have to go back and get him. And then these are John Perry seagulls, which I didn't even know John Perry made a seagull mobile, but they were priced pretty spot on. You can see here they come with two, three, one. I'll have to be looking for those. And all oh, that yummy mid-century glass. I mean, everything in this booth is just kind of overwhelming to me because I like every bit of it. I mean, there's another really cool lamp. More glassware. That's some desert rose glassware, actually. Now I'm in the next booth over, which is no longer a 50% off deal, which is a bummer. This is Francoma, and I didn't even know Francoma came in a blue, which is called Woodland Moss, apparently. And uh, I'm used to seeing the green and brown colorations of it. I liked this, and I, it wasn't really cloisonne, it was just a, a brass butterfly dish. It's been there a while. And it's priced pretty high. That's the thing. If you go back to the same places, you'll start learning the things that have been there a while. And maybe you can negotiate some pricing with the dealers. I know a lot of dealers are really, really negotiable right now. Those chairs were so cool. I loved them. And this lamp, wowza. Now, I thought it was mid-century, but it's actually not. It is a modern company um, that I was able to find, but it does sell for quite a bit of money. So $195 was a really good price on that lamp. Or $175, excuse me, $175. Yeah, that's cool. Now this booth is having a sale. I had to go just refresh what the sale was. So green striped tags were 50% off, which did include this cool little black cow creamer who was priced at eight. So I got him for $4. I will take you little cow, come with me. This reminded me of the Salinger uh, sculpture that I recently picked up at a Goodwill. But this one didn't have like all the kinetic motor stuff going for it. There are some really neat things in this case, and uh, I was hoping to find some of them with green tags, but then I spot, what? $5 for this little horse and his mare in full, and I'm looking, I'm looking for more damage than just like the dirtiness and the crazing. There's no chips on this, and even though it's not half off, um, $5, I will take you for $5, yeah. All right, back to the case. Um, I have pulled some really cool stuff out of this dealer's case before, and I wasn't really spotting anything that was on sale this time. Lots of stuff I'd like to have, but I didn't see any price points that were good for me for resale. I love these old pictures and, and what am I trying to say? bowl and pitcher sets that used to be used in bedrooms, you know, for 
cleaning up at night. They just don't have a lot of resale value anymore. I mean, it's really, it's got to be worthwhile to ship something that large and, well, as far as shipping goes, obnoxious. That's going to take some time, some packaging, some effort, and hoping on a wing and a prayer that it gets there um, because those are really hard to ship. But when you get down to $30 to $40 on those, it's just simply not worth it. Would I like a house where I had room to have a few of them? Absolutely, because I do think the history behind them is incredible. Then this little piece is a McCoy, and it is an Archature vase, and it comes in some different colors. Their price was about at the top range of where those can sell, so she'll probably end up selling that at half price. And then this piece really had an interesting look and I was quite surprised to open it up and see that it is a Freeman McFarlane, which I have sold in the past. Now it didn't have a price on it, so I had to go ask. They sold it to me for five bucks. It was a homely little kitty. Sorry, kitty. You're just not very attractive. Got some Roseville, some Van Briggle, some Weller, some really nice pottery pieces. That was lacquerware. Pretty Asian dish, but it looks pretty modern. This is a little ring holder. He's cute, but he's modern. I was having a little trouble moving through some of these areas. They were pretty tight. And when I'm looking through a camera, I want to be sure that I am aware of my surroundings so I don't knock something over. This booth has a 20% off sale going, um, but they haven't really added anything new since the last time I was here. Or 25%, I guess, is what the sign said. Um, so I kind of scooted through this one pretty quick. This caught my eye. Uh, it definitely is old. These were in very poor condition and I could only find one listed for $83 but no solds and especially in that condition it was a pass. Okay then I spot, <laughs> I spot this showcase full of really nice glass. Now I was looking at the basket in the back, but first let me show you this piece. Um, this is a brand that will have a Murano sticker on it. It is not the type of Murano that sells for big money. There is a lot of this Murano around. The Pontel is cloudy. I wish I could have shown you. Anyway, back to the good glass. This is what I got. They let me have all of these pieces for a hundred bucks. And then I spot this. It is Culver Valencia. And you don't normally see it in the entire set. That is what was so amazing about this. $95 is a really good price when you find the complete set. As you can see here, one sold for $170. Um, I did pass it by um, because you will tend to sit on something like that for a little bit longer waiting for the right buyer to come along. All those pieces of glass you saw that I was getting, I will be sharing those on my next Monday live haul show at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Come join me and find out more about the Fenton and the Northwood. 
This booth is one I tend to skip over because it is so well organized and so well laid out and niched. I know this seller knows their stuff. I'm not gonna get any great bargains in here. And, and that's okay. I mean, I'm sure that they sell a ton to collectors because it's very attractive and, and very appealing. But as a reseller looking for bargains, I'm really not going to spend a lot of time in a booth where I know that they have their stuff priced right. It's still fun to look at all the goodies and the way they lay them out. It must be fun for them, you know, to find things and then mix them into their collections like that. It's a little bit museum-ish. <laughs> it just, it's so pretty. And there's the jadeite, the jadeite that everyone loves. Yeah, I've just never been a big jadeite fan. It's just not my thing. And look at all those Fire King mugs. Okay, we're back in a 20% off booth. I'm telling you, at the antique malls, there's a lot of dealers that are needing to make sales and they are putting stuff on discount. I grabbed this little Majolica frog vase. These actually do quite well, believe it or not. Just kind of scanning and I see a turtle. Actually, it's a tortoise. It's a tortoise. The difference between a turtle and a tortoise. Turtles are water with a flatter shell and tortoises are land and they have a rounder shell. Lots of newer nicky nacky figurines. I tend to stay away from those. You just never know what's going to be mixed in, you know, with this kind of stuff. So you have to look at everything. Okay. Hello, doggy. I think you would hold crackers. Um, I'm pretty sure he would hold crackers. And I thought about it for a little bit. He was seven bucks. And I thought, okay, come with me. Sorry, I realize as I'm going around this table in a circle, it might be making you a little dizzy. It made me a little dizzy watching it. This is a cute little mushroom cookie jar, but it had some big chips, so. $10 was a good price for that, though. Just not for me to resell. Oh my gosh, I totally missed the, the drive-in theater speakers that were down there on the floor. Did you see those? That brings back memories. And I spot this cute little, okay, I'm going to try to say it, anthropomorphic. Ooh, I think I said it. Uh, it's a little shaker, and I wish he had a buddy, but he doesn't, but I'll still get him. And then this guy needs a buddy, too, but I like him, so I'll get him, too. I may try to find them a buddy. Or I may sell them together. I don't know yet. So I come into this booth, and I spot this nice little dove planter, but they wanted $30 for it. So... I'm right now, as I go into this booth, thinking, hmm, I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to grab anything in here. And I almost didn't go all the way into the booth until I spotted this cow pitcher, which I absolutely love. And I couldn't find any comps on this particular style, uh, but they wanted 35, which again... You know, I'll buy things to learn about them, but I have to buy them at a price that I know I can make my money back. And 35 I don't know that I can make my money back. And same, these guys just didn't, uh, didn't excite me as much, but they had an interesting look. They kind of reminded me of Ferdinand the Bull. Some nice TV lamps up on top. 
I didn't even look at the prices at this point. Now I'm just looking at stuff just to look at it. Okay, I'll look at the dog planter because he's really super cute. And again, it's $25. Napco made these dog planters in a bunch of different breeds and they sell for $25 to $35. These had a neat look, but they're plastic. I'm trying to remember where I've seen them before. There's some really neat things in this booth. Um, lots of newer stuff though, which kind of doesn't give me the excitement of shopping, but I loved that big grinder. I think it's a grinder, right? Yeah. It's like a, a commercial grade grinder. And then there's this little post office box. Oh man, that's so cool. I just love it. And this, I knew what it was. And I'm not going to tell you. I want you to tell me in the comments if you know what that piece was for. I actually used to use one almost on a daily basis. This booth is another favorite of mine. The way they have everything laid out in like this old country store with all the tins and just she's so niched and it's just so fun to go into this booth and reminisce, but things are priced really spot on. And so as a reseller, I'm not gonna find any great bargains that I can, I can flip, but I do love to take a look at it and just see all the neat stuff. I mean, in another booth, if you'd have seen one or two of those vintage tins together, it wouldn't be as cool as seeing them all lined up on a, on a shelf like that. I did spot this little ashtray that was a little bit out of place and all the kitcheny stuff. So I thought maybe, maybe, but it was 20 bucks, which I'm sure is spot on. It's really interesting though. And I found another cow, $10, not bad, these candle holders, but you know, for resale, we've really got to be looking for those margins. All right, and then I spot this, it's Shawnee Kenwood in a sundial pattern. And I think I'm in love. I really love this, but obviously I couldn't pick it up at the price they had it because it was a little too much, but wow, the pink and the black together is just stunning. Didn't know that existed. I do now. And I think I'm going to leave you with this and uh, come back for a part three because there is still so much more to show you in this antique mall. And I wanna be sure and take time and show you the prices and all that good stuff. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.